Hey everybody, this is Doc Mac from the Galloping Ghost Arcade out in Brookfield, Illinois. Today we are here for a Friday mystery game here at Galloping Ghost Pinball. Our 39th game going on the pinball floor. Very excited for this one. Last one we put out was Starship Troopers, which everybody has been really enjoying playing a lot. Uh, released from Sega. Uh, great addition to the pinball floor. Very happy to see everybody enjoying it and uh, coming out and playing it along with all the other crazy rare games that we have here excited for this one it I, we weren't expecting to put out another pinball so quickly but uh pretty happy we have this one um we will be unveiling it momentarily uh we have an announcement beforehand we have on tuesday october 22nd right here at galloping ghost pinball will be uh visited by none other than butch patrick who played eddie munster and we'll have him here signing autographs and meeting with all the uh, fans of the Galloping Ghost Pinball and, and the Monsters. And so cool that we have our Monsters pinball machine here from Stern. And great chatting with him. I believe that was at uh, MGC last year. So excited to have him here at Galloping Ghost Pinball. And uh, it'll be a great Halloween-themed event as uh, it is October. So hopefully... You can make it for that. We'll be making a big post on that. We just found out and uh, lined that all up in the last day or so. So excited for that and hope everybody can make it out. And that's on Tuesday. I believe it's from 5 until 8 p.m. So we will see. But join us here Tuesday night, October 22nd, as we are visited by Butch Patrick, TV's Eddie Munster from the Monsters. So on to today's Friday mystery game. Everybody's very excited for it. We've been excited for it. Your Friday mystery game. Without any further ado, let's let's get. Are you helping me unveil this one? All right. Thank you. Huge thanks to Tom who is helping us out. Uh, as Pete is out. Hope Pete is feeling better, and uh, look forward to him being back on Monday for the Monday mystery game. But uh, awesome to have you here. So your Friday mystery game number thirty-nine. It's Elvira's House of Horrors. Yeah. Brand new Ellie from Stern. Ours, the limited edition. Just unboxed this uh, yesterday, I believe. And super excited for this. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's showing unboxing videos. And the this one is just absolutely awesome. We've got the whole trilogy of Elvira games. We've got Elvira and the Party Monsters, released in 1989 from Bally. We've got Scared Stiff that came out in 1996. And now Elvira's House of Horrors, released from Stern this year. And this machine is pristine. They did the, uh, the regular standard edition. This is the limited edition. It was limited to 400. This is number 186 of 400. It's got this cool etched little plaque up here showing that. The, uh, the, the glass on it is museum glass. It's like crystal clear and like barely any glare on it. So cool. One of the coolest things that I really liked about it, it's got the design team. Uh, everything signed. Greg Ferreras, Dennis Nordman, Lyman Sheets. Tim Corpora, so awesome. The artwork on this game, so great. Uh, got a handful of games on it, and then we kind of put it away for a day, and so cool, so excited to get a bunch of, of, of plays on it. I believe, should we have, who wants to play it first? Let's have Master Tech Ken Walker step up. You know, one of the cool things, and have him, him play it, if Tom can, maybe we can have that second camera set up. You know, one of the things I really, so Elvira would run all these old horror movies, and so many of them are featured in here. A personal favorite, Night of the Living Dead. Um, you've got uh, The Brain That Wouldn't Die, and uh, so many awesome games. The artwork really showcases a lot of it. It's got, like, the movie reel clips up at the top. On one of the ramp, on both of the ramps, actually, so you can see a lot of the clips from the movies. Just such a great game. The giant mansion, haunted house in the center. A lot of very fun shots. Little uh, tributes being paid to the uh, previous games. You've got like, as opposed to where the 
Uh, games like Scared Stiff, Head the Leapers. You've got Gargoyles here that, that pop up. Very, very awesome. Very excited for it. Of course, like with the newer Sterns, it's got the LCD screen, so you've got clips of Elvira playing, clips from the movies. Um, you can see the new CG intro here. So awesome. Elvira, House of Horrors. And we will be playing momentarily. Ready to go. Ready? <laughs> Again with the LE, it's got um, the side art. It's got Elvira on the side. The standard one had... Uh, whoop. Standard one just had like a hypnotic swirl going on the side. The LE has Elvira on the couch, her famous couch. Oh, already running the... Night of the Living Dead clip. Ramps worth 500,000. Absolutely brand new machine. The presentation on this is spectacular. The finish on the legs and the... Uh, lockdown bar just that perfect blood red it's got to shoot the ball it's got the uh, button in the center of the lockdown bar but it's also got the standard plunger as well so you can launch the ball either way if you want to do a finesse shot or if you just want it to uh, shoot out Greg pointing out that the uh, deadheads over on the uh, right side you can see the Dead head showing itself. And now he's haunting my house. So grab a silver bullet, darling. Now, not a beer. And let's rid the place of this canine correspondent. So awesome. This cabinet, like I said, there's so much artwork on it. Looks so great. Everything about this presentation is super crisp and clean, and we've seen that from Stern lately. When the Monsters and uh, Black Knight, they've been putting out some really great games, and this one, no exception. This one felt like it came out pretty quick from the time that they officially announced it to when we actually picked up the machine. Perfectly timed for, uh, it's, it's it's October, It's uh, Halloween is here, and what a better game to have on the Galloping Ghost Pinball Arcade floor. The Hand of Fate is lit. The Hand of Fate is lit. Those gargoyles jumping, much like the Leapers and Scared Stiff. They did a signature edition that actually came with a piece of Elvira's, a swatch of Elvira's red couch, which is pretty cool. But uh, instantly those were sold out. I have to say huge thanks to Troy Smith, who uh, hooked us up with this one. And uh, I believe he uh, he probably only got, he got, there was so, these sold so quick. The Ellie's were sold out so fast. Only 400 made, and I'm so happy we got an LE. I, I definitely like the cabinet art uh, better than the uh, the standard one, but so happy that we got one at all. Uh, the signature edition that was only 50 of those produced, and those were sold out almost instantly. Ken stepping back up, 4,997,310 points. So many. <laughs> that is so awesome. Again, one of the things that makes the Elvira games so stand out, the humor that they have in there. Oh, it's Elvira's talking. Hold on. Yes, you do. 
boo, creepy doctor. Now you and your undead heads and severed limbs can go find another house to haunt. That is The Brain That Wouldn't Die, 1962. So funny, I just watched this movie less than a week ago. Six hundred thousand. There he is, getting his arm ripped off. That happens. Seven million eight hundred twenty-six thousand. But there's some bonus points going on there. Eight million. Not a bad score. Greg's got a little bit of work to catch up. Hitting the deadheads. Hitting them again. Getting in the mansion. I take care of the place while the master is away. God, I am haunted by one of the worst movies ever made. Please keep your monos and your hands on the flipper buttons at all times. Monos, the hands of fate. The will of Monos will be served. Ball one is locked. Oh. oh. Very awesome. Got a match. Again, the artwork on this is so great. Tom, can we show some of the uh, play field artwork? <coughs> Again, the mansion, the haunted house back here. This top spins around. Again, you can see the uh, film reel artwork from the many movies. The art blades on the side just look spectacular. Giant, he giant heel monster, attack the giant leeches, Manos, brain that wouldn't die, night of the living dead, don't look in the basement. So the artwork again, just phenomenal on this. There's so much going on and so many things to take in and see. So many little puns hidden in there. Today. The freaky fryer right up here. Maurice, you stepping up? All right. Can we show the side of the cabinet? Again, we've got we've got all three Elvira games now. So you've got uh, there it is the Ellie artwork. Different than the standard edition. And then here you can see the trilogy all lined up. You got Elvira and the Par Party Monsters, released from Bally, 1989. Scared Stiff from uh, 96. And then Elvira's House of Horrors from Stern in 2019. And now we will be watching Maurice. So what does everybody in the stream think? Your 39th game here at Galloping Ghost Pinball. For those just joining us, your Friday mystery game is Elvira and the House of Horrors. Brand new Stern, just unboxed it. Probably not more than 10 plays on it already. So I don't think there's... Does anybody know of any of the uh, LEs out anywhere for anybody to play? No, no, not at all. I don't think the LE. Galloping Ghost Pinball. Yeah. Maurice knows. Galloping Ghost Pinball is where you can come play it. Ken and Greg, unaware of anybody else that has this out so far. 
Uh, very happy to have it here so quick. Again, huge thanks to Troy Smith who hooked us up with this one. Uh, Troy's got so many connections and always has so many great pinball machines. He has that, uh, let me bring in that crawl. He's got an outrageous crawl, just super rare. Going to uh, Pinball Expo. Very excited. We're going to be at, at Pinball Expo with a lot of our video stuff. We're going to be bringing uh, Jeff Lee with us. We're going to be having our video game tournament. And we'll be showing off. We'll have our uh, Pinball Expo championship belt. So who will be the champion of Pinball Expo? We will find out next week. Just one second, we're going to set up a new camera here, get a little more action going. One more time for those just joining us, your Friday mystery game, game number 39. We've got such a ridiculous lineup here at Galloping Ghost Pinball. This completing the Elvira trilogy, again, Elvira and the Party Monsters, Scared Stiff, and now House of Horrors. Joining the likes of Medusa, Attack from Mars, Revenge from Mars, Space Invaders, Defender, Spy Hunter, Cubert's Quest, Pinbot, Bride of Pinbot, Jackbot, Bram Stoker's Dracula, uh, Starship Troopers, Joust, Monster Bash, uh, Baby Pac-Man, Varkon, Granny and the Gators, Caveman. Oh, what else do we have? Freddy, Nightmare on Elm Street, Godzilla, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Aliens, the one of a kind Predator, Twilight Zone, Adam's Family, Tales from the Crypt, Viper, X Files, Police Force, Funhouse. Doing, doing these all from memory. Um, Black Knight, Gorgar. Haunted House. I think that's it. I think that makes 39. Can we uh, see the Twitch chat as well? Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Shout-outs to Manicore and Tim Foley. What's that? No, no, no. Let's get started. That's just good. There's a player in the pinball to get captured. The one behind the... Thank you, Jeff. And huge shout-outs to Lumbo. You know, Lumbo helped us out with uh, getting uh, Butch Patrick here. Butch Patrick from the Monsters TV show. And um, as we have Monsters Pinball here, we are anxious to have him out. Oh, fire. Thank you, Kathy, for reminding me on Fireball. How could I forget Fireball? Great game. John, Andy Bagwell, Jeff, thank you all for being here. TJ Jones. Oh, yeah. Varkon is just so incredible. We we're so happy when we got Varkon. Happy we were able to have it at the arcade as uh, before pinball was open. Look at that play field. That play field is just... Not only is it pristine. Brand new. Brand new. Lumbo asking, what did he miss? You missed the unveiling of today's Friday mystery game, Elvira and the House of Horrors. The haunting begins. The taunting is over. Yeah, the, the sound is just excellent on it. It's got... Uh,
Shout outs to Brad. Thanks for joining us. We're watching Greg. This is only his second game. Shout outs to Todd. Thanks for being here. Is there any way to see what was posted before? Uh, no. Sorry, if I missed any of the questions on Twitch, feel free to repost them. So happy to have us here pretty much before anybody else. There's so many great places to play pinball. And uh, having a game like this, a brand new Stern, just unboxed, fresh out of the box, is just so awesome. And uh, we are so happy to have this here. Right next to, in between the two other Elvira games and our other brand new Stern game, Monsters. Shout out to the Real Hammer Billy Lee. Thank you for being here. If you're just joining us, as we had mentioned before, we are going to have Butch Patrick, TV's Eddie Munster, here at Galping Ghost Pinball on Tuesday, October 22nd, for a Halloween event. Armin, thank you so much. Absolutely. This completes the Elvira trilogy. So happy to probably the first place in Chicago to not only have it, but to also have an LE. There was three versions of the game put out. The original, uh, the standard one just had more of the, the purple hypnotic eye in the background. And that was just the only side art that they really had. Still cool. Still very fitting. But this one, the artwork of Elvira I thought was excellent. Very reminiscent to uh, Party Monsters. I thought it uh, was worth the added cost to have the artwork. The ar art blades on the inside of the cabinet. We'll be posting pictures of that on our Facebook and Instagram tomorrow, maybe even later tonight. So if you're not already following us on Instagram and Facebook, make sure you do that. Prince Planet, thank you so much. Yeah, it's people were kind of speculating what we were going to put on the floor. A lot of people were saying we were going to get the... Uh, the standard one, but we managed, again, thanks to Troy Smith, we got a hold of an LE. And it is here for everybody to play. $15 gets you in all day gameplay. 39 machines here at Galloping Ghost Pinball. Do we have audio coming from either of those other cameras? Can we get uh, let's look, people asking if we can bump up the audio a little bit? Ken saying it's a little hard to trap up. Shout outs to Ashley and and Brad and Jason and Chris. Thank you for all for being here. Again, so many great clips. Night of the Living Dead, a personal favorite movie. Who is stepping up next? We will be fine tuning and refining our. Uh, Pinball streams soon. We've got a lot in store, a lot of big upgrades that we want. Um, hopefully, we'll have some direct feed at some point. Mono's Hands of Fate.
any unique or bizarre rules on this one. You know, honestly, not that I've noticed. It seems pretty straightforward so far. Uh, I haven't had a ton of plays on it yet. It's it's that brand new. Very anxious to get more in depth on it, and uh, the invi Greg pointed out the Invisiglass on it is. It's like there's no glass on. It's it's crystal clear. Ken, had you had you played this before? I know there's been some streams, like Jack Danger has been streaming and showing it off. Uh, is it, had you played one yet? No, not played one. I've only seen parts of Jack Danger stream. What did you what do you think and what are your first initial thoughts on playing this brand new machine? Well, right out of the bat, it's a Lyman game, so you know it's going to be deep, and there's going to be a lot of different layers. And uh, so even though um, it's kind of early to tell, the future's got only good things happening for this game. And uh, I love the fact that they found all the old B-movies. Everything is all uh, public domain now, so they were able to incorporate that. Fantastic game. I can't wait to see the code updates as they come probably over the next two to three years and uh, This game's just beautiful. You said something about blood red I don't know if anybody noticed this but the side rails are not standard side rails. They're actually like dripping blood That is such Absolutely such a beautiful design to the cabinet stern really going above and beyond and It was they didn't do uh, usually there's the pro the premium and the LE, there was no pro for this. It just went premium, LE, and signature, which was so cool. Um, not a ton of variations as far as, like in Munsters, uh, the upper ones had the lower play field. And this, they, the machine was mostly art differences. Like this one has the art blades. Um, it has the the uh, the shaker it has the uh, Invisiglass and uh, I'm all right with that I again so happy we were able to get one of the 400 only 400 of the LEs made and uh, ours number I think 186 there's a cool little plaque at the top showing that off man it's 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 great it's it's Elvira it's Dennis and Greg Awesome game. You can see, again, they make such good use of uh, the LCD screen. Like, the artwork is very captivating. It's uh, I, I could see people paying attention to the screen and, and draining because they're watching what's going on up there. Torgo. We got to work on getting a direct feed from uh, the LCD screen when we, from when we stream. We'll work on that. We have some big things in store. We'll get a direct capture going at some point. Maurice hitting that 700,000, 750,000 bonus, 800,000 bonus. The trunk is open. The hand of fate. Continuing now, we're watching Ken play. What's up, everybody? This is Waffle standing in for Pete. Thank you guys for your patience so much. 
is my first pinball stream, but we're we're getting the we're getting the hang of it so far. I got help from a lot of the pinball guys here. Yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in from Facebook. Uh, I believe we will be uh, switching over to twitch.tv permanently um, in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and drop a link in the comment section. Go ahead and follow that, guys. Um, if you do want to keep tuning in on this Elvira stream, kind of disregard the description below there. Twitch is weird about updating things. But, um, yeah. Can you lower the LCD cam so we can see the scores? Yeah, I see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, here, look at this one. There you go. You're looking at that. We got you, ma'am. There we go. All right, perfect. Maurice is on the job, baby. Again, guys, this is the Friday mystery pinball reveal here at the Galloping Ghost Pinball. We have the brand new Elvira pin, the third one to our collection to complete, I believe. Hey, guys, any pinball questions? Let me know, and hopefully I can relay the message to Ken and Greg, our pinball experts. You guys have anything to say? Want to add on any more commentary to the work you guys had to do into the, putting this game together, or? Uh, no, this is pretty much uh, pretty much straight out of the box. Uh, we see that there's a couple of things we got to do. Always have to level the game. Um, just make sure everything's good. All the switches are hitting. But uh, pretty much this is what you can expect getting a game straight out of the box. Very nice. Guys, we will be at Pinball Expo uh, next week. I believe Thursday through Sunday. Uh, we're going to be there strictly for Video Arcade. But uh, definitely come check us out. And if you're in town, uh, come check out our pinball selection. Doc was uh, mentioning a bunch of the games that we had earlier before. Um, obviously... You may have heard of our Predator and Alien machines, but we got a lot of really rare and cool stuff over here at Galloping Ghost Pinball. We got the two-player Joust machine. Um, Scribble, I'm not too sure. That's a little out of my jurisdiction, but if it's cool and rare, I, it may be on Doc's radar. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Those things seem to be our specialty. The ra only the rarest. You know it. <laughs> so I don't know too much about Elvira myself, but I've heard that she is the Sven Guli, like a female version of Sven Guli, possibly. A little biased in uh, <clears throat> Sven Guli over her, as I am from Sven Guli's hometown. Very close to Brookfield, Illinois, where we are located at. Just right outside of Chicago. Not too sure if you guys are going to the Pinball Expo. It's good how far of a drive. Maybe I think last year was about like maybe 25 minutes. So actually pretty close. If you guys are in the area, we got Greg up to bat. Really cool interactive screen up top. As uh, not the biggest pinball connoisseur, that is like just the the whole game itself. Um, is it's, it's so nice looking, and that was de definitely a pull for me to play a couple games. 
I feel like with these pins, uh, with the LCD screens, they kind of walk you through how to play the game too, right? A little bit. Like they kind of like tell you to aim for something in particular. Like I know an Alien, the LCD screen tells you what objectives to go for and stuff. Right. Where it's like it tells you to shoot for the blue shots or the green shots or exactly. avoid the green shots. And so uh, generally, the rule of thumb is to shoot for the flashing shots. And uh, I like this game. That you know, as I'm playing it, uh, the shots are long. That makes it a little bit of a challenge. But that's the great thing about pinball. Pinball, it's basically the same objective, just to fight gravity. But you, uh, every game is a little bit different. It's dialed in differently, and um, that's what makes it the challenge. And I like it. And I like uncovering the rules and the different animations. And Elvira is hilarious. Um, awesome. I got a, I got some work cut out for me to catch up to Maurice. Yeah, Maurice is one of the guys who works here. Oh, sorry, that might be a little bit loud. Um, so we just had some practice playing a couple of these spins, just getting the whole technique down. A piece of the couch? No, we didn't get that. No, not yet. Not yet. You might see it. You never know. He was, uh, Fat Chris was in the Twitch chat. There you go. Shout out to Fat Chris. Love you, bro. Yeah. They, they find a piece of the couch with the signature. Yeah, okay, yeah, there we go. There's uh, <laughs> Greg was saying there's one more tier to the Elvira games, and that's the signature edition that comes with the couch. Thank you, Pete. A little bit of a rough start, but we, we recovered pretty pretty well. We got Doc back. Thank you. Shout out to Brad. Thank you for being here. Scribble. Pete Hahn. Who's, what's that? Uh, either. For those just joining us, we have a brand new Elvira's House of Horrors released from Stern a mere days, of go days ago. Huge shout outs to Troy Smith, who we picked this up from. Again, if you missed it earlier, we will have Butch Patrick, TV's Eddie Munster, here at Galloping Ghost Pinball. He's going to be signing autographs here on Tuesday, October 22nd. Sure, we'll take a lot of pictures of Butch in front of the Munster's pinball machine. Also released from Stern. Surprised at how many movies are uh, referenced in this machine. It's it's a lot. Uh, there was a full list put out somewhere. Some might say two heads are better than one, but this talk proves otherwise. Let's put our heads together. Tater salad saying Lyman Sheets is on the code. It will be a master masterpiece. TJ Jones, that the play field, the artwork. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. Kind of a completist. Like we've got Pinbot, Bride of Pinbot the Machine, and then Jackbot. So uh, very cool to have a second trilogy here at Galloping Ghost Pinball. Our 39th game makes the Elvira trilogy complete. Again, ours is the, is the LE. Ken stepping up. Don't go anywhere. No, pinball's filling up quick. 
when we did that expansion, we put out four new games all at once. Then we've put out a couple of games since then. Last we put up was uh, Starship Troopers, released from Sega. And now Elvira's House of Horrors. Oh, those clips from Night of the Living Dead. So good. Have you guys got a multi-ball yet? No. Man. I tried, I, I had the shot, but it bounced out. I was so visibly upset. Gotta say, I've... Uh, The multi ball is pretty fun. You got a warning with no plumb box, so you know you tilted that one. You got sticked. Larry Brocky in the chat. Shout out to Larry Brocky. Thank you for being here. Sam on Facebook. Thanks for being here as well. If you're just joining us, today's Friday mystery game, Elvira's House of Horrors, released from Stern. It's absolutely brand new. Still not 20 games on it, I would say. Ken hitting the unhappy hour. So nice to have... A brand new pristine pinball machine for everybody to come and enjoy. 15 bucks gets you in all day here at Galloping Ghost Pinball. 39 pinball machines. Just some outrageously rare pins. Some great new stuff we've got. Again, Elvira's House of Horrors, along with the other two Elvira games. Brand new Stern Monsters. And then all the other games that we have, including Aliens and Predator. One of one Predator. Where are you going to go play that? Nowhere. Joust, Varkan, Cubert's Quest, Defender. What a crazy lineup. Crazy lineup of great games. And this one... Fitting the theme so well and looking great next to the other two Elvira games. Elvira and the Party Monsters released from Bally in 1989 and then Scared Stiff in 1996. I'd just like to say that uh, Dennis finally got a dollhouse on one of his games. Uh, he's a big fan of dollhouses. The uh, Haunted House looks uh, really cool, very detailed. Uh, very detailed toy. It's not just a plastic. It's it's it looks awesome. And the lights and the windows they light up. I think they're going to have something to do with the uh, with some of the modes. And the uh, the crypt even looks really well detailed. You guys got to come and uh, check it out. And top of the house spins around too. Uh, it's it's. Is my high score still standing? Probably. Was not expecting that to last this long. Multi-ball, definitely a lot of fun. There's, uh, you have to lock two balls in the, uh, oh, in between the gargoyles on the left. The stairs going up to the mansion, those go up, and then you can uh, shoot straight through. Little less uh, call-outs, I think, 
than the first two games. There's a little more of a little more Elvira talking in a few of the other games, but he clears past. Scribble saying, come on, Ken, show us how to play. The crypt is open. But no good. Nine million. Not bad. The crypt is open. Can Maurice hit it. Again, the cabinet, just absolutely beautiful. Like, so much attention to detail, so much artwork on the play field. But the, the side rails, like, as Ken pointed out earlier, they're not just the standard side rails. They're custom cut, dripping blood side rails. So nice, so nice. Again, the back glass, mirrored back glass. The ba uh, Greg pointed out, the, it does, over the uh, premium... The back glass is actually mirrored. And printed on the glass. It's not a translate. Yeah, it's not a translate. It is printed on the glass. Super amazing presentation. I think that's the best representation that Greg did of Elvira. That looks most like her on all three games. Yeah, I was just saying that Greg did a great job on the artwork. I think Elvira looks more realistic on this game than the other two games. I mean, he did a fantastic job on the play field. A ton of art. A ton of inserts, all kinds of things to do. Again, just maybe another uh, software update down the road. But yeah, great. All kinds of great artwork on there. You liking it so far? Oh, it's awesome. That's awesome. You guys got to come down and check it out. Moon Ducky 76, waiting for delivery of my Elvira LE sometime in the next hour or two. Oh, that is so awesome. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's show some of this play field off. Again, so many movies referenced. Yeah, the... Uh, again, we can check out the design team. Autographed. Got Greg Ferreras, Dennis Nordman, Lyman Sheets. Tom Copra, all individually hand signed. Instruction card right there. Probably need to read that myself. Again, in uh, the Scared Stiff, there was Leapers, the frogs. And this one, though, they have gargoyles, and those pop up when you hit the, uh, the targets. <clears throat> again, then the haunted house. Again, two gargoyles in front. This topper spins around. Yeah, the, the art blades showing off a lot of the movies. And then the giant Gila monster, the attack of the giant leeches. The will of Manos shall be served. So much cool artwork. So many little things. Skeleton key, lab test, Elvira's dagger, atomic ray gun, phone of fiend. Just so much cool stuff. Again, we've got an LE. Again, huge thanks to Troy Smith for getting this to us. He's going to be at Pinball Expo bringing an outrageously rare crawl. He got so many amazingly rare games recently, and uh, him so generously bringing uh, crawl to Pinball Expo to share with everybody.
So I th should we go a couple more games. Maurice stepping up. <laughs> The crypt is open. Don't let him go. Don't go anywhere. Los, I'm happy to know you got this machine. I've been waiting to play it. I'll be stopping by this weekend for sure. That is awesome. You will be one of the first. There is, I don't think there's, I don't think that there's anybody in Chicago to have one just yet. Yeah. If you can trap the ball behind the haunted house, gives a skill shot. Similar kind of like fun house. I tried that right away. And that's uh Really? Yeah. Ken stepping up. It's all Vira's House of Horrors. Again, it's got that uh button on the uh lockdown bar. Or you can plunge. Ken using the uh shot button. The brain that wouldn't die. 1962. <laughs> the brain that wouldn't die. He's, he's running off. So there's a car accident in the brain that wouldn't die. There's a car accident. And uh, I believe it's his wife. He takes her severed head after a car accident and reanimates it. Pretty crazy movie for 1962. So make sure you come on out this weekend. This will be here permanent. This is this is not uh, on test play. This is part of the official lineup. The 39th machine here at Galloping Ghost Pinball. $15 gets you in all day. 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. 11 a.m. to 2 a.m. on Saturday. Seven days a week we are open. A lot of fun shots. Again, great artwork, great visuals, excellent presentation. Stern with an, a great game here. Very excited for it. Fits very well with the uh, in the in the series of Iron the Party Monsters, Scared Stiff, and now House of Horrors. And can't beat that it's right next to a 
Stern Monster. Uncle Bolthead. Uncle Bolthead. Telling you to go get a job, you bum. Again, if you're just joining us, there's three. There's normally a pro, a premium, and an LE. For Elvira's House of Horrors, they put out a premium, an LE, and a signature edition. Um, don't know how many of the premiums there are. Uh, there's only 400 of the LEs and 50 of the signature editions so very happy again huge thanks to troy smith for getting us this one great person to buy pins from helped us get this and uh i don't think there's any in chicago right now on location they're out there they're out there but mostly in private collectors have not heard of any locations with it yet Again, ours number 186 out of 400. Yes, the signature edition comes with a signed card on the machine and also a swatch of red fabric from Elvira's couch. Prince Planet said 26 B movies, B movie modes. Yeah, there's a lot of movies referenced in this machine. Can see it in all the artwork. Very, very cool stuff. Literally, every time I'm looking at it, I'm seeing it in something new that I didn't recognize before. I think that's Gappa up at the top. Uh, attacking the house in the back glass. See the giant Gila monster. Shout out to Steve. Thanks for joining us one last time. Your Friday mystery game is Elvira's House of Horrors. I think. Should we wrap up the stream? We're going to cut the stream, but Elvira's House of Horrors, your 39th game here at Galpingo's Pinball, will be here forever. Hmm? Along with all the other rare games here. Come on out. Check it out. Join us this weekend. It's going to be a lot of fun. Again, one last time, come out on Tuesday, October 22nd. We will have none other than Butch Patrick, who played Eddie Munster in the Munsters back in the, the 60s. He'll be here signing autographs, and uh, he'll have some, some merchandise to sell. So come check us out. Get a photo op with, with him in front of the Munsters machine. Shouts to Hey, by the way. Thank you for joining us in Season Salt. Thank you for being here. But thanks, everybody. This will wrap up. Join us on Monday for our Monday mystery game down at Galloping Ghost Arcade. Thank you, everybody, on Facebook for being here. Thank you, everybody, on Twitch for being here. Come check it out. Elvira and the House of Horrors. Brand new Stern, just unboxed. Less than 30 plays on it so far. So thanks, everybody. This is Doc Mac from the Galloping Ghost Arcade, and we hope to see you around the arcade soon. Thank you so much, everybody.